Okay, y'all, so welcome back to Movement Link. I've got another video on just playing around with rocks, how to select a good rock to play around with. Uh, so now let's just assume you've seen that video or assume you're just ready, you've got your good rock. Again, I know how ridiculous this sounds. You got like your pet rock. You, have, you found your great rock out there. Uh, and now what are some exercises we can do? Uh, one of my favorites is, and this is what that other video is, is just seeing if you can get that rock over your head. Once you get that, you can actually go with the lighter rock. So this is probably a little heavy he on the heavier end uh, than I would do like a workout with this. Uh, but you can go out and you can do workouts with squat cleans. You can do squat clean thrusters, those types of things. So if I'm doing more of a Metcon style workout, then I'm gonna wanna find a rock that's a little bit lighter, something that I know I can kind of throw around and be confident with. Uh, and if I'm just playing around, maybe that's when I can test out the heavier things. So this is a little on the heavier end, so I'm not sure how well this, this demo is going to go here, but uh, we'll kind of try it out. So really what we're looking for here is if we're going to do a squat clean thruster, it's probably one of my favorite exercises to do when I'm out just messing around with rocks. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up feet wide, hands in, just kind of makes sense. We got to make room. We got to get that leverage in it by being kind of up into it and have those hands in. And then what we're going to do is move our hands around. So we're driving the rock up and we're trying to get it into that weightless point, just like we would with a barbell, just like we do on every clean. Then we're going to reposition our body around the rock and try and get it into a front rack position as we come up out of a squat and press it overhead. The real key when we're dealing with rocks, with a barbell, it's extremely easy to know exactly where to put your hands for balance. With rocks, you really have to figure it out. And then not only do you have to figure it out, as we're rotating our hands around and as we're moving around, it's gonna be so key that we find that balance point. So I found the balance point on this rock uh, I haven't tried a squat clean thruster yet, so we'll see if I can keep that balance point. Uh, so we'll kind of see what happens. But with that balance point, I'm going to bend down nice and tight. So belly button drawn in. My feet are as flat on the floor. I'm kind of on an upslope here. Uh, but my feet are as flat on the floor as I can be. And I'm really, I'm just finding the balance point. I'm going to try and create space so I can work my way around it. And then the key is going to be, can I transition into a balance point also? Let's see what happens here. There we go. There. Okay, I wasn't sure I was going to be able uh, to pull that off, but really it's all about the balance point. And, uh, and really the only way I was able to do that on the first try is because I had messed around with this rock a little bit before getting it into my hip and just seeing if I can get it overhead. But one more time, uh, we don't have to be as strict with our technique as we would with a barbell. With the barbell and everything, we're looking for that full extension to drive it maximally up so we can drive under. The reason that full extension matters so much with the barbell is we're going to be able to load so much more weight than we're able to with the rock. So the main thing with the rock is keeping it close, going up high enough to give yourself room to go get it. But the techniques don't have to be the exact same because one the weight you're going to be able to move in a rock is way lower than what you're going to be able to move with a barbell. So missing that top end of extension isn't going to be that big of a deal. We still want everything else uh, to be good. So let's see. Find the balance point nice and tight. Drive it up. Oh, there we go. All right. So once you find a rock, play around with it. First step, check out that other video is I go through them to see if you can get it off the ground, see if you can get it to the hip, see if you can stand up. If you can stand up, see if you can get it into a front rack. If you can, let's see if you can get it overhead. Once you've kind of gone through those steps, it might surprise you how heavy it feels, but how much better you get at it. And once you go through those steps, it might be time to throw in something like a squat clean thruster, and you can even make a workout out of it. All right, talk to y'all soon.